So one of these things that I bought is for my trip to Portugal. I have some plans. I want to go see my niece, but I'm so fucking tired. Oh, I'm just sitting here and I'm like stretching. I, d I contemplate with myself all the time. Are my videos shit? I literally ask myself that fucking question. Are my videos shit? And I've never actually had anybody tell me that. I've had people give me constructive criticism, criticism, which is what this, her name's Timberland. She watches these videos. I think she watches these videos. She told me she does. And she gave me some good feedback, even only doing it for a couple years and sticking with it through really, really hard times, really challenging times where there was sometimes no views on a video. And sometimes there's been 4,000 views on a video with a lot of negative feedback about, you know, what they expected and what they didn't see. It's it's the hardest space to be successful on. Committed to the grind so much, I'm not fucking giving up. I'm not giving up. I'm gonna continue to grow. I know I can grow this channel. I know I can get more subscribers. I know I can get more views on these fucking videos. Just gotta keep, I gotta keep learning. She stopped. Oh, no she didn't. Uh oh. Probably. You want this one? It's turkey. Turkey club flatbread, bro, with tomato. Not in the fridge either. Oh fuck, it was the sweet. Oh my god. I don't know if it's good or if it's just I'm hungry. It is my uh, it's my box cutter for work. You never know if a fool acts up, you gotta cut somebody. No, I'm just joking. I don't care for that. Literally just ate one now. They are so fucking sweet, but they're pretty good. Mama didn't like the swish rolls. Tell the audience. They're sweet as shit, and if it's got too much sugar in it, I pass. Well, you didn't pass because you ate one. Well, I ate one. This is then you didn't pass. I didn't realize I don't have my phone. I did, I forgot my phone. I need my phone, bro. Got the iced coffee. Mama got lemonade. She's back there somewhere. Oh, is she sleeping or? Somebody told me I should do more hauls. I'm guessing this is a haul. So one of these things that I bought is for my trip to Portugal. Super stoked about. I bought a new wallet. This is a travel adapter. This is like super important. I don't know if that's too close, but yeah, it's but this is two more batteries with a dual battery pack charger for both those batteries. So, looks amazing. That's very nice. I went with the orange. I didn't like the other colors. Nice, very nice, very thin. I think that's the biggest thing. I'm not sure how I'll adopt to the, adapt to the money clip. The battery, oh yes. Things like feel so cheap. Batteries are just as good, if not better, than the Sony if you consider the value in which you pay for this. Two batteries and a dual battery pack charger for 60 bucks. One Sony, authentic Sony battery for this camera, $119. Definitely some better financial options when you talk about what you potentially have to pay for some of the accessories for these cameras. Shit, I'm like, I'm on Amazon, I'm like, oh, okay, I'm done shopping. And I'm like, no, I need this. So I made sure that I specifically read the instructions because it says it said Portugal, which is Europe. So it gives you the option of Europe. I don't know if you guys can actually see that. Europe and the UK. So I'm gonna assume if you, yeah, okay. So that's what it does. Like it pops out. See, this is where you gotta be very, very careful with Amazon because some of these things, oh, okay. So you gotta, you gotta push this button and it makes this pop out, right? And then we wanna push it back just for anybody that might be curious. Cause I was trying to do without doing that and it was a little difficult. USB-C and three USB. Very fat fucking charger, super fat. Which means they're both dead. So we're gonna check, we're gonna see if we can take them with us. Take one out, that is what we don't want to have happen. Let's see, I got the camera out, oh, no traffic. Find the shoes, but man, we got some good fucking shit. All right, so these are the, the sweaters I got. So this is the black one, straight black, nothing special. Though I will say this, Nike sweaters, if you're similar to me, like relatively big, I'm 6'4", don't get extra large. It's not the right size. I just saw it. I like it because it just has random Nike signs. 
So you got it right there. One, two, three. You got one on the arm, a couple on the back. I just like how they doubled up on them. And it was on sale. The crazy thing about Nike sweaters, this thing at regular retail is like 100 bucks. I got it for like 50, 60 bucks. Pretty expensive. And this was the, uh, this is the third one. I just, I love this. I love the color pattern. I love the pink. I love the blue. You rock this with like some blue jeans. Not much, just a little Nike sign here on the pocket, the pouch of the pocket, just to let you know it's a Nike sweater. Otherwise you would not know that it's a Nike sweater, to be honest. Those are the three sweaters that I bought. This is my favorite. This is my second favorite. And I was just like, I don't have a black hoodie, so I'm gonna get a black hoodie. So yeah, that's the clothes. Also for me, once again, like I said, when I get champion sweaters, because I think champion's quality is better than Nike, I get extra large, they're big. This extra large, like, like look at the sleeves. I already took the things off. Like it fits, but I feel like when I wash this one, this one's pretty much a goner. So hopefully that doesn't happen with these. What's up guys? It's a lazy Sunday. I haven't vlogged for a couple days, but today I decided to take the fucking day off. I need it. I need it. I was gonna go into work because I'm stressed about inventory and how we're gonna be. I mean, for the most part, we're gonna be in great shape. But if I went in today, it was gonna be Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then not off again until Sunday. So that would have been a really tough week. And it just, every kind of drain you could be, I would have been. So I decided to take the day off, but because I took the day off, I actually stayed two and a half hours longer yesterday. It was a good call on my part. Stayed till like 11.45, got a bunch of work done. There's only one thing I need to get done first thing tomorrow morning before I start prepping for the inventory. We're not going with the tripod today. I got it in my bag. Probably won't use it. Also, here in Toronto, it's raining. It's raining. It's not raining right now, but I want to buy a pop socket for my phone so that I can vlog with my phone because I can't really hold. I got the iPhone mini. It's kind of hard to like vlog and not have shaky footage. I do have some footage. Also too, I sat on these the other day. Look how flimsy they are. Like those are bound to break. Like look at these. The, your glasses should not do that. I've arrived. Parkway Mall. Gotta go to Staples, Shoppers, and I gotta go inside to the bank. I didn't realize on Sunday, I know stuff opens later, but like some stuff doesn't open till noon. Oh, this is terrible. I came out too early. Shit. And I'm not gonna hang out outside all day. <laughs> so Jess starts her new job, so I gave her my Mac my iMac until she decides if she wants to buy a laptop. So that means I brought my monitor back in from the bedroom. Kind of just give me a little sleek, clean setup. Ah, I finally bought booty paper. Booty paper! Fucking dropped my last roll in the toilet. Asking how does that happen? Story for another day. Remember I told you guys I got a pop socket? So that's what I got. I don't know, that, like, you know, you can vlog with your phone, right? I must say, I don't like vlogging with the iPhone camera. I don't like vlogging with any phone camera. I wish I could genuinely use my A7C. This is my favorite camera. I sold all my camera gear to get this camera. And I have one camera, one lens, one mic. Pop socket, so from now on, you're gonna see vlog inserts or inserts of iPhone footage. Cause I wanna be able to film more. I wanna be able to film more. Obviously I can't take the A7C with me to work as much as I want to. I can't take it to work. And obviously that's gonna get me in trouble. Even though some days my job is just Oh, it just makes me want to scream. I'm not gonna purposely set up to get myself fired. Though, these things should be like five bucks. I paid $16 for this. $16 for a pop socket. But that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I am working extremely hard to make these videos interesting and entertaining to some degree. And I promise my personality will come to life on camera. I'm working on it. I know I've been doing this for like a year and a half. I'm working on it, it's not always easy. I'm still working on pulling out the camera, I'm working on, on I, I am authentic, I feel like I'm authentic, but I wanna make sure that in the edits that comes off exactly the way it's intended to come off. I will see you guys next week. Get excited, get excited man, stay tuned to this channel. I'm going to Portugal for two and a half weeks, then I have a work conference, literally two days after I land from Portugal, and I'm gonna document all that. Hopefully you guys enjoy, and you wanna come along, and I'm gonna do my best to make really, really good videos while I'm in Portugal. Make sure you guys watch. Oh,